Congressman Grijalva, would you like to give us your perspective on this, please? Thank you, Phil. And, uh, it is uh, this chapter here, I'm proud to say, is, it is indeed one of the largest in the country. And uh, I think uh, everybody's hard work in making it that way has been a good thing. And it's a great thing for me to brag about all the time with my colleagues. Uh, let me just briefly uh, talk about the agenda that not just the Progressive Caucus, but uh, given what happened Tuesday, the kind of mood shift that's happened in, in, in America in a very necessary mood shift. Uh, uh, a mood shift that is the Tea Party were, it, were successful because they fed on frustration and fear. The mood swing is now about people wanting our government to do something serious and tangible for the American people. And what the Occupy movement has brought into the agenda, which is so essential, is the issue of fairness. And, and, and I think that is, is a popular feeling out there that, that uh, we should not underestimate one iota. And uh, you feel it, it's palatable, and it's going to continue to build. Uh, we, uh, Progressive Caucus, and let me just talk about the priorities. We feel our essential priority is uh, for, for Congress is job creation, not the phony part, the real part where people are actually working at the end of the day. And, uh, and so, uh, our, let me just say, the, the, the premises are made in America, uh, seeding our own businesses. Uh, the tax incentive should be tied to the number of employees, not just a fling of money and then hope it happens. That it should be a trigger. And, uh, and uh, rebuilding America, going back into our infrastructure, our roads, our sewer systems, our schools, our healthcare facilities, those public entities that have been essential uh, to the American people, reinvesting in those and rebuilding those. We see that as an essential part of it. Uh, and then in, in, in beginning, I think, and the, the doctor said that, uh, to be creative, that we have to create jobs for the next generation. Uh, what my dad did for a living is obsolete. What this next generation, my grandchildren, we have to now be thinking about what the jobs for that next generation and begin the investment process in education to do the preparation. Um, we need to lead in the Green Revolution as a major job generator for the nation. <laughs> and it's not about jobs. It's about good paying jobs. And, uh, so we wrote to the, the super committee uh, the Progressive Caucus, and laid out what we thought was very pragmatic, and even for some of us, uh, quite moderate proposals <laughs> about, uh, about what we needed to do. And the first one was to, to we said, you need to look at these. And, uh, and then we'll talk about two things that, that are on our agenda that I'll be talking about. Uh, we want to replace the Bush tax cut and the estate tax uh, with different responsible policies. That, you know, doesn't create the immediate influx, but between now and 220, 212 or 220, that would bring an additional 3.65 trillion as a revenue generator, saved money. You know, every, the, the carpet has been about cut, cut, cut as a mean two to get to a deficit reduction plan. We feel that reductions in appropriate areas are fine, but to gut essential and vital programs that are investment strategies and support mechanisms for the American people uh, is short-sighted at best and is going to only aggravate the economic situation that we're in. And so we're saying roll these things back, let them sunset, and we're talking about $3.6 trillion in savings. And then the rest of the proposals is enact the fairness taxation laws as Jen Chukowski's legislation, excellent piece of legislation that would generate $871.5 billion between 212 and 220. Uh, we talked about eliminating the fossil fuel tax breaks that big oil and big gas get. 
para que se peguen.